Hey, Legends, just a quick video that I wanted to share with you of how I've created marketing packages that I assign to each one of my listings as part of my listing process. So this might benefit you if you operate similar to me in that you go into listings selling a package or a couple of package op options um, and you find it a little bit labour and manual intensive assigning each individual uh, supplier item against each listing as you process your listing. Now myself, I go into every appointment with one package option from for sale to sold. Uh, but if you have a couple of package options, for example, maybe you've got a, a gold, a platinum or a silver package option, we can create a couple of different package options to suit your needs. Um, what I like about this, it's a quick drop down box. It assigns uh, all the supply costs against each listing. I can actually print and generate an invoice at any time as part of my listing process through to Kirsten and eventually the vendor seller, obviously, as well. It also helps um, tremendously with our back end, particularly with accounts, Michelle and Shirley, so that when supply invoices come in, they can see exactly what supply charges have been assigned to the listing in agent box to then obviously what they're paying out to the supplier. I'm going to show you right now a live listing that I've just listed yesterday and how I assign the marketing package to the listing as part of my processing, how to generate an invoice, and then obviously how I process it through to Kirsten, who then will process and approve it through to the vendor and seller. So the property that I'm using as, as an example, 27 Bond Avenue in beautiful Burton, of course, number one agent, get around him. Um, so if you click on the listing or you bring up your listing to the right top hand side here, you've got the marketing funds tab, looks like a little house or I think it looks like a little front of a court almost. Um, now, normally what you guys might be doing is you might be clicking on this option, add new expense, and you might be manually add, adding in each one of your supplies one by one. Uh, whereas what I actually do with my marketing package is I go into campaign expenses, same area, but you'll see here further right, add package. Um, here there's a number of drop down boxes. As you can see, Bjorn's a classic example. He's got a couple of different package options that I know he works to. I've just got the one. Washo's just got the one as well. So like I said, I can help you build one two or three package options if you like. But for this example, I use one package myself for every listing. It's a fixed for sale to sold cost. Makes it nice and easy. I know what I'm selling at every listing, every opportunity. Um, so if I click my package option, I go apply. You can see, bang, it's assigned all the supply costs that I use as a package in every listing. Now, you can still go in there and add uh, additional uh, expense item if you want. So maybe if you're doing like a professional video shoot, you can add on uh, that item. But I just found this quicker, uh, a lot quicker and easier than me going in and assigning all these individual items one by one. Um, this also includes the new 8x4 signboards that we're using at the moment as well. Um, now, an example I'll give you is I do just listed, just sold pretty much on every listing, but you'll see I don't have that listed here. So for the guys and girls that don't know, this is what they look like, the I'm available and the I'm sold DLs that get delivered to my front door as part of my marketing package. Now, the reason I don't have them on every listing just to be honest, some listings I can't be bothered pumping out 100 just sold and just listed every listing. So I've kept it out of my standard marketing package. But if I wanted to add it in here, I still can because if I go into print media, Gianni, who does my DLs, you'll see here pre release coming soon, um, D DLs, I can save it and bang, it automatically adds that item in and it updates the total tally as well, okay? Now, if I want to generate an invoice down the bottom here, you'll see print marketing plan. If I click on that, you don't need to tick any boxes here, just click proceed and voila, there is the marketing campaign invoice. And this invoice marries up to exactly what's itemized in the sales agency agreement. Okay, now what you'll see here is down the bottom, it's got the payment details that the client can pay the marketing upfront, obviously, as well. And it covers us from a legislational point of view that all marketing is itemised and that the seller is given a full quotation in writing of all marketing expenditure. Then what I do is when I process the listing through to Kirsten, back again, again, in the listing tab of Agent Box, in the resources section, you'll see here under documents, I've already saved the listing agreement sales proposal. So if we open that up, we go to the itemized section of marketing. 
bang, there's the total cost, 1556. Go to my invoice, bang, 1556. Everything adds up to what's in the sales agency agreement to then what is being invoiced to the client, okay? Um, but in here, I've just got sales agreement, the CMA, and the marketing invoice. I save those, I save them in agent box, and then all I need to do is simply email that to Kirsten, sale proposal document, marketing invoice, or CMA, it's all in there. And then Kirsten will send that out to the client automatically. This guys is how it helps me. I carry no vendor paid debt. Everything is 100% upfront. Um, and the only way I sell marketing is the vendor pays upfront firstly, uh, themselves or we go through campaign flow. So if that's something you guys are interested in having a marketing package option, um, I'm more than happy to create it. Unfortunately, I was hoping to allow access where you guys can do it, but that's not the case, unfortunately. Uh, you've got to be a master uh, access user, which is myself and corporate only, but I'm happy to create the packages for me. What I will need from you guys and girls is to itemize exactly your package items exactly like this, who it is, the supplier and the cost. And then I can go through and create the marketing package for you, okay? Um, so reach out to me and uh, hopefully this helps. And uh, any questions, you know, I'm always here to help to make you more efficient. Bye for now.